Hi Leo and welcome to my channel and welcome to your weekly love read. Let's dive in. We're going to pull an oracle card for your overarching energy here. So let's go ahead and take a look at that and see what comes out for Leo. Okay, what's most important for Leo to remember in love uh, this upcoming week here? What do we get? Ooh, beautiful. Oh my gosh, you guys. So I'm getting here self-initiation. So this is about, it's almost like she's throwing herself into the wave of passion and the wave of life, going into the cycle, right? And it, it's kind of like, um, you know, you can learn from a lot of different people in life, but this is about really going for your passion. And there's no greater teacher, you know, in life than life's experience, right? And for you to go to learn and to go through that experience. That's like the greatest teacher ever. I mean, people can talk and say something, but when you actually go through it and you live it, that's something that is kind of, uh, uh, you know, imprinted within your soul and you remember that, right? So it's kind of like for you, I feel that there is some sort of self-initiation that is taking place that it's almost like a sacred convergence between you and yourself and, and you're just like really just coming together in some sort of way uh, is what I'm getting all right so life itself is the teacher and I feel that you're kind of um leaning into that that wave of this brand new cycle that's coming in for you here and it's passionate right and it, it brings in a lot of light and it's kind of like uh, um, you're, you're going with the flow right so the, 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 there's a lot of teachers on our path that might be able to, you know, you know, that help us. Sometimes they enter our lives and they, they bring forth some sort of insight. Some stay with us and some, you know, come in real quick and you get that piece of information and they're gone, right? So, but this is saying, you know, the, you know uh, there is something about relying on your own wisdom. The greatest teacher is life itself, and that's what the card wants to remind you of. So trust your own experiences beyond any others because, uh, you know, this is you. You know that is the divine spark within you, that intuitive uh, insight. Um, it's that life within you uh, that is a true teacher that can bring you home to some sort of reunion with yourself. Like I said, it's like a sacred convergence that's coming together uh, within you. And it's sacred and it's uh, coming together, you know, and, and that's what I'm getting. I'm going to pull another card on this and see what else uh, wants to shine through here for you. This is beautiful. Okay, beautiful. What do we get? Prosperity. Yeah, I get prosperity and then I get, yeah, prosperity in matters of the heart. And so this is the heart chakra and this is all about prosperity coming through here. So this is about moving in to doing what it is that you love, knowing that prosperity is there before you. It's fantastic, guys. It's so beautiful. Maybe that you, uh, you, you're you leaning into the prosperity and the abundance that is yours. And uh, especially in matters of the heart and you are, you know, it, you know, expression of love, focusing in on the heart chakra and, and getting prosperity in love. Ooh, this is beautiful, guys. And speaking of which, guys, I do want to um, let you know, I want to thank all of you that have actually booked readings with me. Uh, I just, I thank you so much. It's been so beautiful in meeting each and every one of you. We're going to get into your tarot read right now. And and do keep in mind, guys, I do have real quick uh, my uh, six-week intensive that is coming out. Uh, and it is special, you know, pre-pricing uh, at this moment. So if you are interested and you are looking to reignite your life, create some sort of change, maybe you're going through a transition or a some sort of uh, uh, transformation within you, and you're looking to kind of have someone kind of take you by the hand, you know, and, 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 you know, through the light, not being blindfolded, but being able to go through and, and open the door. And, and they have that GPS system to be able to lead you to that, that door to, to open up and expand your life anymore. This could be something for you. Now you can choose, you know, of course, to go, uh, uh, you know, in the dark, maybe blind, uh, you know, in, you know, in the dark, maybe blindfolded and, and, uh, not sure which way to go and kind of finding your way through this and not having some sort of map, but this is a blueprinted and, and a, a proven processes and principles that I teach, uh, especially in the subconscious mind, to reignite your life. So if you're ready for a, a, a significant change in your life and you want to work with a small, intimate group uh, with about 10 people at most, then you might want to check out my discovery session. I'll have it up here in my description box below. So let's go ahead and take a look and let's jump into your read and let's focus on you and then we'll jump over to the other person that might be on your mind that could be coming towards you, someone that you're perhaps connected with or attracted to 
to at this moment, okay? It could even be a friend or family member, okay, that, you know, in a situation. So what I'm getting, you know, prosperity and matters of the heart and you're initiating yourself. It's almost like you're kind of getting out there now, you know, in some sort of way. Yeah, look at nine of cups. Being satisfied, great joy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. So I'm getting that you are, in, this is about coming to fruition and being satisfied after a time of conflict, right? After a time of conflict, and um, you know, instead of moving forward rapidly, you know, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, you're, you're, you know, the Knight of Swords. You're going like the Knight of Pentacles, which is moving slowly, putting in the work, the day-to-day, -day, you know, efforts, uh, you know, into the situation uh, to overcome, you know, you to overcome some sort of conflict in a situation. Fire energy. So you're not rushing anymore. You're taking your time and you're moving forward, which is really, really key right now. Uh, and you are closing out an old cycle and moving into a new cycle. And this is where I feel that you're coming full circle, like you're becoming whole. And that's what I got when I got that self-initiation. It's kind of like um, you, are, you are understanding what brings satisfaction to you and it's not rushing through. It's taking your time and uh, to overcome, you know, any sort of conflict or situation and uh, work with the, uh, you know, the universe in, in terms of, uh, um, you know, co-creating with the universe. There is a, a successful uh, opportunity, uh, you know, like the world is your oyster right now and you're stepping out in a new way into the world and it's because you've closed out an old way of doing something. All right. Give me anything more. Yeah. There is a birthing of something new. Exactly. Yeah, it, it is. It's a birthing of something. This is a connection with source that you have as well. So there is some sort of connection. Uh, there is a birth of some sort of connection with source coming through here that's becoming very, uh, it's flowering, it's blossoming, all right? Uh, in a situation, uh, what I am getting that comes through here is, you know, you're, you still are going through a process of, of healing, of, of, of coming together, maybe perhaps in a situation, um, but this is you taking the attention and the time in order to heal, to become whole. This is what I'm saying. Um, this is what I feel that's coming through here. And it could be that in a situation that honesty is going to be very, very important. All right. Honesty. Uh, it, it's going to, it's going to require, uh, you know, a love situation or in your, your situation you find yourself in, it's going to require honesty, Leo. It's going to require you speaking your truth and acting on your truth. All right. Um, it, it's no longer, you know, uh, you know, it's, it's kind of like taking off the mask and, and truly being, you know, who you really are, you know, and, and, um, it's almost like, um, you're birthing a new structure that represents that new version of you. And oh my gosh, you guys, it's exactly what my program does. I mean, it's, it's all about uh, re reinventing yourself. Uh, um, you know, it's you, but way better. It's way better. And so I kind of feel that you're kind of entering that realm here is what I'm getting. So let's take a look and uh, see what else might come through for you here. What else do we get that comes through um, for Leo here? What do we have for Leo coming through? What do we get? Yeah, new seeds are being planted. Yeah, new seeds are being planted. Um, there is a birthing of something new. And, um, you know, new beginnings, new pathways are, are, cre are in the process of being created. All right. Let's take a look at this other person on the other side. All right. What's going on for this other person that's on Leo's mind you know, coming through here? Or who's coming towards Leo? This is a person who's getting, taking a time out. Uh, maybe they've had some sort of, uh, they're mending some sort of broken heart. So they too maybe had some sort of healing. Um, could be done with the Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And then I get the sun card, Leo energy. I mean, a renewal. Very similar to you. All right. Very similar to you. So some sort of renewal, regeneration, rejuvenation, very excited. Um, you know, it is an opportunity to be reborn. And now they're, they're in the process of wanting to move forward and take outside action, cancer energy. So they're balancing out their light and their dark side and they're moving forward on faith. So they're ready. They're, they're, this person has gone through some sort of renewal. They're ready for a big change within their life. And they're ready to take outside action on it after spending a lot of time from going within. All right. Uh, anything more for this person? Yeah, they gained a lot of wisdom, a lot of wisdom in the situation. And this could have been with you or someone, you know, before you, uh, you know, it could be that as well. And now they feel a lot more solid with this root chakra energy. Uh, they're going through a cycle that's now put them, kind of brought them home. And now they're on that root chakra, a strong, solid foundation. 
and uh, what else wants to come through? Yeah, see, I, I mentioned healing and the healing card came out. Healing and matters of the heart. So it could be similar to you. Um, you know, this is about, you know, going through some sort of, of healing recognizing the wisdom of the situation but still persevering and not giving up in love okay and what else yeah they're they're focused on um, they want to be trustworthy they want to be loyal and they want to do what what honors uh, this situation and again more healing more healing on this person's side yeah this is you know they're removing traumatic events that maybe cause suffering within the past is what I'm getting all right uh, anything more what do we get uh, I get proposal. Jeez, all these cards. There is a lot of opportunity for you know uh, uh, relationships to go that next level, to meet someone new that is of long term, to go uh, you know uh, maybe a romantic proposal for some of you, or an opportunity or an expression of love. But what it's gonna what's gonna be really important? I get a romantic proposal. This person that you might be thinking of, they might make a heartfelt love offer because this person's. Uh, moving forward quite rapidly moving forward with the chariot card on faith with this new beginning and uh, what else do I get yeah it may take longer to get the desired outcome but this person is thinking of some sort of how can they come forward to you with some sort of romantic proposal some of you it could be a romantic proposal uh, you know that's coming through um, anything more uh, for this person on their side yeah they feel that there's a close bond they not only are you friends but you know, you know, you're connected, have a deep attraction, uh, you know, in love. But you could be very good friends. Like this is about moving forward. Like you feel a soulmate kind of connection with this person. Now, give me more on your side that wants to come through for you, Leo. What do we get? Uh, teamwork and collaboration. So this is what you want: teamwork and collaboration of working together. Uh, you know, with Earth energy. What else? And then I get the Knight of Wands moving passionately towards the beat of your own drum. Uh, so this is uh, moving forward. Uh, this is motioning forward with this kind of like a free loving experience, come what may, but at the same time, uh, very adventurous and very, um, uh, very uh, passionate. Okay. And, and you could be taking on this energy, you know, kind of being like that horse in the background, like freedom running and, um, you know, doing, you want to, you want to come together with someone who's got, who shares that same beautiful freedom um, and loves their freedom, but also loves being with someone. And so I, I kind of get that for you here. Uh, and there's a brand new beginning, a message, uh, uh, whatever it is that you've been manifesting, Leo has an opportunity to come through because this is manifestation and prosperity. So whatever it is that you've been thinking, thinking of there is an opportunity for this to come through um, earth energy and uh, this is you know focusing in on community your tribe uh, you know others who have your back something's coming to prosperity and you could have a tribe around you teamwork maybe you're collaborating with others in your tribe um, that are supporting you and you all have each other's back as you move forward um, into you know you know uh, you know spirituality personal development um, and it's all about learning to break, you know, you know, past cycles. Okay. And so I feel that a lot of you are learning to break free from cycles. And this is something that you could teach. This is something that, you know, perhaps that you do. Um, and it could be in a connection. You don't want to repeat cycles, uh, but there is an opportunity for a second chance for some of you. This could be a second chance in love to create a brand new love story. For some of you, this could be someone that you're connected to that maybe perhaps is a friend and might be, you know, can be a lover or is, a, is perhaps a lover that maybe turns into a friend. But I do get that lovers, I think there's a strong friendship available here as well as love, all right? So uh, there could be second chances in a connection that want to come through, okay? Um, and, and, but that would involve a little bit of reconstruction. It wouldn't be have to, it can't be the same way. If this is someone coming back, it's not going to be the same way. Um, because something needed to be reorganized and that's why it broke down in the first place. Um, it needed you to come together with you and this person needed to come together with themselves as well, uh, to have this renewal with this sun energy. And so you can go through your own self initiation, you know, and, uh, move towards the sun and go through your healing. You both have, what you'll find interesting is that you both have gone through some sort of healing. Okay. And again, it could be from each other, you know, a situation that had, you know, as a result from coming together, um, and, uh, or it could be, you know, uh, you know, and, and that could have revealed, uh, past, 
uh, wounds, uh, you know, that needed to still heal. And so uh, you met, you came together in order to to become whole in within your own selves and rejuvenate. And now it's like a coming together again. So let's take a look a little bit more on this other person's side. What do we get? Emperor energy. They could have areas in their chart or they're developing a strong, solid foundation uh, is what I get. And then the ace of pentacles manifestation and prosperity. Wow. Unbelievable. You know, it's kind of like, like, like you get, you get uh, an opportunity for a manifestation to come through and, and so do they. I mean, this is an opportunity to put something on solid ground, something that they've manifested Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo after some sort of disappointment of the past, um, water energy. And then I get the page of swords. You could be hearing from them. Um, they've gone and done some research and they've been enlightened in some sort of way. And now they're getting their balance back and having lots of big ideas coming through here. All right. Uh, anything more with this other person on the other side? They could have earth in their chart or this is about, you know, they're really grounding themselves um, in matters of the heart. And they got clarity because they had done some shadow work. Uh, that's what I'm getting. Wow. They broke free from something, guys. Okay. Um, love. They're opening a new door to love. Do you see the synergies of how this is kind of like coming together step by step and balancing out on each side. Uh, a new door to romance is coming through here. Interesting. I will say, um, let's take a little bit deeper here. You know, the strength in this position is to be able to go deeper into the emotions, that of which is hidden. So you uh, both are being enticed to kind of uh, challenge your light and dark side and incorporate uh, and, and have some breakthroughs perhaps on the shadow side uh, and that might even involve diving deeper into the ocean of emotion okay um, and it could be that something's coming to light and it could be emotions uh, something is uh, someone's following their intuition with the high priestess energy so the strength of the situation is to use the intuition is super strong here you share a mutual super strong uh, um, intuitiveness um, and uh, and I also feel that uh, that in this situation that you both can actually there's an opportunity to plant seeds and have something really really grow but it needs a strong solid foundation it can't just be uh, you've got to really nurture and grow the situation and the connection. Otherwise, it's not going to grow into something beautiful. So in the house of partnerships with the seven of pentacles, this is putting in the effort. Uh, if you want to see change in the situation, that's what's going to need it, going to be needed. And um, what is missing is manifesting what it is that you want, knowing that you that you both have what it takes to, you know, already you don't need anything more. You're both beautiful and, and, and whole as you are. Um, at the same time, it is about, um, you know, it's a time to manifest a brand new beginning. So the hardest thing to do right now is manifest a brand new beginning. And that's what is kind of really been hard um, within the situation to balance something out. Like you might be connected on the 5D, but if you try to bring it down to the 3D, there's been some challenge. Libra energy coming through here, Virgo, Gemini um, coming through as well. And it's time to uh, shift the energy. So it's Queen of Wands. There you are. Uh, this time to shift the energy to balance things out and have a brand new beginning. And yes, you do have all the tools. There's no need to wait. You have everything in order to bring balance to this connection. But it needs some work on that. Okay. Where it's headed is an opportunity for travel change and movement to move in the same direction. So if there have been hiccups before, there's an opportunity for change. All right. Um, and the advice is to express emotions with the Page of Cups. Um, this is about, you know, think you can think about love all you want, but are you going to take the steps forward on it? So this is about putting in the action that's going to be necessary. Um, and that's going to involve being courageous, Leo energy, standing up, being strong and being courageous and to be that visionary to create what it is that you want in a connection. So this is what I am getting. Uh, anything more that might want to come through? Whoa. Uh, let's take a look on their side. I'm afraid of hurting you. And no matter who I am with, my thoughts always lead me back to you. All right. So interesting. And on your side, what do we get for you, Leo? I never experienced this intense connection before. And what else do we get? I'm not the same person. 
Ooh, there's been a shift in this connection, guys, a big shift. Well, I'm telling you guys, uh, I do feel that the connection is stronger than you think. I got the strength card, which is Leo energy, right? So what we're going to do is find out a little bit deeper. There's a second door to love romance that's opening, a new door that's opening up for you. Uh, after some sort of healing, there's a reconstruction and an ending of an old cycle and an opportunity to bring in the new, but be more whole on each other's side. So we'll find out uh, what they haven't told you, but that they want to tell you. Uh, the same thing for you on your side. We'll find out what their next steps are and timing surrounding that uh, and what you hope the next steps to be. We'll do messages from both sides. Um, and then, of course, uh, um, you know, what they want most long term and what you might want most long term in this. Uh, potential outcome oracle advice, but I will pull what, um, you know, what makes this connection work and spirits advice to uphold it this week. So if you're interested, guys, click the link in the description box below. And guys, I'm sending you so much love and light. Smash that like button, note your comments, and I look forward to seeing you next time. All right? Namaste.